Sweet. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Midweek Report. The more I say that name, the more I desire to change it. Maybe that's a future problem. That is certainly a future problem. So, hell... I'll just do the intro again. Ugh, where's my brain today? So, a while back, I said... Maybe I said? I don't remember, actually. No, I think we said we'd do the new Sea of Thieves thing. And like the Warframe thing, it just kind of kept getting pushed back further and further on the list. Yep. But... Here we, are. we finally made it. So yeah. here we are, Sea of Thieves. We are We're putting covering... it down in the docket of history. So there you go. <laughs> As of this day, on this moment, at this time, we kept our word eventually. In some mannerism of life. I itself. do not know if my co-host over there, dear old Justin, is loaded in yet. I am still staring at I'm, a loading screen. I'm already I'm... sitting here like, mm, yes, Okay, Island. so there we go. That's why I was sitting there. I was staring at a loading screen. Oh, here we go. Waking up in the tavern. My drunk ass sitting here. There we go. Drinking more things today, I am. Drinking more things. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let us... Let, come to the tavern. Come to the tavern. Come to the tavern. Alright. <laughs> As he finds his way back. <laughs> That was a wonderful little glitch thing that I just did. I don't know how I did that, but I just skirted over the In water. In Destiny or not, he always discovers the glitches. <laughs> take her to take her, take her, take her, take her. Your tagger, not your sword. <laughs> Trust this man. Hold on. There we go. And eh. eh, drink. Meanwhile, your drink is all blue for some reason. Yes. This is what we call <laughs> reputation rewards. And he's because drinking I like glimmer, drink. ladies and gentlemen. He's drinking <laughs> yes, glimmer. I'm drinking pure money. I am drinking he's, pure money. He's drinking digitized money. He's wasting <laughs> all the glimmer just so he can digitize it in his body. That's uh, his vex milk. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> I'm drinking the vex milk. For some reason, it doesn't affect me, but it tastes so good. It so tastes so good. <laughs> it is liquefied smurf yeah <laughs> drinking gargamel. the blood of smurf gargamel will be happy <laughs> gargamel drinking the blood of liquid smurfs <laughs> yeah, that got dark but <laughs> anyways yeah, the whole series of that that show is dark fair enough i suppose the whole series has its dark undertones in a way oh there's the wrong dog so anyways, today we'll be going over the newest adventure. Hold on, TLDR. Uh, wait, not that, Frank. Let me just check to see if that adventure is still here. Yes, two, <laughs> two days left. Good, we had a... So we're covering the adventure, despite it literally being gone in two days, but that's okay. I told you we'd get around to it, and we did, so... We're at least truthful on that end. Um... Let me uh, let me just full disclaimer. I have completed the adventure because I play Sea of Thieves not regularly, but you know on and off, and I've completed this adventure. Yes. So I have finished it, so I can give you a full review. Justin has not, so he me, has. Meanwhile, me barely going and keeping up with the basic. Yeah, he's a play of the game. Often. I do. Ba so. Barely even keeping up with the pinnacles for her strikes in Destiny. Unfor dis dishonorable. Hey, when, there's this oh, there, there's this thing called gamer must play other games. Gamer, hey, I've got dozens of games. I, I am still not, do it. What's I am not for? tied to one game. I play other I games and then watch TV slash video and then get bored and then just sleep. I mean, like literally just today, I watched the final episode of Overlord, so you know. Yep. I do that too, and yet I still make time. Yes. But anyways, so. The most recent one is out, and if you finish it, you get the sales that will be seen when I drop the sales. Unfortunately, it is nighttime, so it is kind of inconvenient for showing you the sales. But if you finish the adventure, you will get the sales that I have just equipped. You know, when I drop them. <clears throat> that is. As the ship is back. <gasps> oh my god, you fool. I can't see the ladder, okay? <laughs> it's on this side. I am intelligent. <laughs> I am more like magic. I am Warlock Magic. But, um... So, yeah. There we go. So, basically, the whole shtick is that Bell, a character in Sea of Thieves, has basically found a way to strike a deal with the Ancients, who are an ancient, obviously an ancient civilization, in Sea of Thieves. Help me with the anchor. 
Lazy slump. I am literally right, right beside you. I am right beside you helping you. What do you mean I am lazy? <laughs> okay, what should we do? Voyages. Actually, you know what? Let's go on a let's go on a few skeleton voyages. Or do some order of soul stuff. Island hop. Fine, island hop. Drop the sail. These are the sails you get. You can kind of see them. You are not steering my ship. I don't trust you. <laughs> what do you mean not, <laughs> I, I'm not my... steering the ship as I sit at the sail, making sure it's down and making sure the Fine, people can... you take the wheel, but if we you're, crash... You're it's paranoia, back. my boy. Yes, it's paranoia. I have to fix this thing if you break it, and it costs y money. Yes, but I wasn't rushing for the wheel. You can take it if you yes, want. Yes, but I'm being proactive by telling you no. <laughs> Okay, we'll take your wheel and leave exactly. me out of it. Because I do not want it. You know, actually, no, I, I cha you know, I'll change my mind. You can have the wheel. I'm going to regret this, but you can have the wheel. Why are you suddenly wanting me to have the wheel when I'm at the front? <laughs> because I'm being nice. This take man and his paranoia is clearly <laughs> flawed in seven ways than one. <laughs> this is called being paranoid for your ship survival. Yeah, you're being paranoid as you leave your the front like the ship unsupervised and it's steering. It's a sloop. I don't have to run that far if worse comes to worse. No. A, if it were like a freaking brigantine or galleon, I'd be more concerned. But um, put the map on at least here. I'll make it at least see things. Um, I am going towards the so light. Where to go? Take us north for a little while. Take us north. So. In this most recent update, like I said, Bellas found a way to gain the, basically, assistance of the Ancients for reasons we do not know. Potentially, Resurrection of Flameheart, a villain that is in this game that is quite legendary. Who keeps coming back every five seconds. Honestly. He's, he's literally the Tanix of, Tanix of this <laughs> game. <laughs> he's the Tanix of, he's the Tanix of Sea of Thieves, just keeps coming back. But, um... Flameheart the Reborn. <laughs> Flameheart the <laughs> Flameheart perfected, but um, Siva infused Flameheart. Oh God! Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, but yeah. So there's a potential of him coming back. So Bell is like, "Hey, ancients, help us!" And the ancients are like, "We will, under one condition: you collect ancient treasures from the bottom of the ocean for us." And she's like, "Sure. Okay. I'll get someone else to do it because why not?" Not my problem. So we are conscripted to get the treasures from each of the three shrines. Faithful, Dauntless, Voyager. What are these Voyagers? I'm not sure what these Voyager flags are. Strange. But anyways. Put it on a standard flag that nobody cares about. I'll just use this one. It's just the one with the grog. There you go. I miss it. Anyways. So you have to go to each of the three shrines to uh, get the things. In fact, we might we might be able to do the shrines. They're puzzles, essentially, and we do get to fight things. So maybe, maybe not. We'll, we'll see how we feel. We'll see how we feel. Mm. But actually, we sh <laughs> should have probably taken the adventure from Bell if we were going to do that. Eh. I mean, oh, we're right on. at an outpost now. Uh, steer us towards the outpost, then. Don't crash us! I Okay, you do realize I have to turn towards the outpost. I know! I, like, I know! My I, guy! I see your steering, though. Alright, well, you might as well bring up the sails here. I'll bring us up the hat mast, then. There you go. That'll drop our speed by a bit. I but anyways, it's over so the she's like... Side there, right? Uh, yeah, it's by the tavern. Okay. Well, by the tavern or over by the... What, what part? Just like, go to a dock. Go to the dock. Go okay, to the dock. for God's sakes, Mike. Just go to a dock. We'll find a way to the yeah, tavern. Yeah, yeah. But, um... We're not that <laughs> close, <laughs> you fool. That's all right. We could swim. Besides, we still have a little bit of speed. Yeah. Right. So anyways, she's oh, like, hey, okay, agents, you went help full, us. That's why. <laughs> There we go, that's fine. See, you didn't hit anything. Congratulations. My ship survived Bra me. momento. Oh. <laughs> My ship survived you at the helm this time. Uh, but anyways. Por favor. <laughs> but anyways, Bell's like, hey, ancients, help us. And the ancient's like, okay, sure. But you have to recover three particular... Hello, what's this? Freaky... 
Why is there a barrel called Freaky Dusty? I don't know. And it's a banana barrel. Inspect. Ah, it's part of the tall tail thing. Okay, I see. But anyways, or anyways. So anyways, the like, yeah, sure, we'll help you, but you have to collect three treasures for us from like the Siren Shrines because the Sirens stole our stuff long ago. And so you go from shrine to shrine to shrine, solving puzzles and basically meeting with the ancients and collecting these ancient things. You don't get to realize what these ancient things are until like midway through, until like the end of the quest or either that or if you follow like the bits of optional lore, you can do that. Yes. Can I not start the adventure? I don't know why. Why can I not start the adventure? It should still be here. Keepsakes of adventures. Colorful sails. Did I lie? Is it not in stock anymore? There should be a wild rose. Oh, wait. No, that's not it. Huh. It ends in two days, but maybe I'm lying. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This entire episode might be for naught. No, ends in two days. Yeah, no. No matter. I know where we have to go anyway. She just kind of points you in the right direction. Doesn't actually start anything. So it's like one of those quests where it's like, ah, good luck. Bye. <laughs> Pretty much. But anyway, so you go from shrine to shrine collecting stuff, and you don't really know what they are until like the end of the quest, or unless you follow the optional lore. Turns out it's basically a, an ancient skull from like an ancient warrior. The Great Warrior, as they call him. Are you on the ship? Yes. Okay, there you are. So anyways, it's basically the skull of their ancient warrior. Actually, where is Blunder Valley in relation to where we are? I have not checked. Probably a good idea to check. Uh, t t t t t t t t. Okay, it's due south of us. Take us south. So, anyways. No, 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 no. We need, we need appropriate music. <laughs> As I don't hear much of anything, because. I, I have music turned off. Oh, you have music off? Yep. I believe there's a function to just get rid of copyright music. Nah, eh, but eh, I don't I don't care. Fine, live in silence. L live with the ambient noise of the waves, ladies and gentlemen. But anyways, so legend has it apparently long, long ago, the ancients had this kind of caste system, right? And the concept is that every generation they would have a great warrior or a warrior. And this warrior would train the rest of the village in the ways of fighting and da 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 kind of acting like the general. Story goes that the great, the first great warrior was the great warrior. Or first warrior was got known as the great warrior. I know, real creative naming we're dealing with here. But anyways. So this great warrior did a lot of mythical things. And eventually, you know, kind of ended up resting in heaven through story reasons. Plot. <laughs> yeah, plot, essentially. But that's the legend. Essentially, the Great War is like, I am old, I am tired, where can I rest? Or, I am tired, where can I rest? And the king's like, opens a pathway to heaven, or a staircase to heaven. And the guy's like, and the king's like, go, go to the top of these stairs and rest there. And that's why he's apparently a constellation in the sky. Or so the legend goes. But anyways, See? the truth is that the Great Warrior apparently didn't rest in heaven, or at least apparently, and that his skull, or his body was buried, you know, apparently in some royal crypt. Now, according to the legend you get in the optional lore, the Great Warrior apparently was sworn to the royal family even beyond death. So, the concept is that he probably could basically, like Flameheart, bound his soul to his remains, which is actually something we know happens in the game, because there's, like, always been this story of... Where did binding magic come from? You know, where did the magic that binds souls to objects come from? Well, maybe that's where it came from. The ritual that bound the Great Warrior to his own skull, essentially. Yes. The stick being that if they ever needed him, they could just summon him back from the dead. 
but ain't but the ancients, for plot related reasons, all decided to basically drink the Kool Aid and go to the land of the dead. Why not? Come on. It's more fun that way. Well the reason was apparently that, like I said, because the way the land of the dead works, they're like what you think of can end up happening in the land of the dead, so if I envision the land of the dead as this massive, you know, essentially uh, oasis of liquid you know, a liquid root beer, that's what it'll be. And so the ancients as a civilization all believe that when they went to the afterlife, they'd be essentially visiting this massive, uh, essentially ocean of tributes. So all their lives, they'd be sending tributes to the afterlife, kind of like the Egyptians. And they believe they would find all of this stuff again with them in the afterlife, in the massive ocean of tributes. So when they ended up going to the dead, or to the land of the dead, through the use of some magic, that's what they ended up seeing, because that's what they believed in. So they're like, ooh, this is paradise, but for plot-related reasons, they're like, so we can either go there as a civilization or not at all. They ended up picking the second op- they ended up picking the first option, not the second one. Unfortunately, because of the war with the Sirens, an evil race in the game, the Sirens ended up raiding the Tomb of the Great Warrior, stealing his remains, and before he could be fetched and released from his bonds so they could join them in paradise, as they like to call it, um, he was stolen and hidden away. So, basically, that's the whole shtick of the adventure, if you've been reading between the lines of my explanation. Your task is basically to go from shrine to shrine, collecting these ancient treasures, which are revealed to be fragments of the skull of the Great Warrior, which are apparently what his soul's bound to, so that you can bring it to the ancients and they can unseal him from his bonds and he can go to paradise with them. And apparently, so we could also be brought back, because apparently the ancients also know how to come back from the land of the dead, because why not? Magic. Is that right? There it is, that's right. So, where are we going exactly from here? Because we've gone we south. We are going... Just continue going south. Yeah, no. Avoid this island, and then after that, continue going dead south, and we'll hit the island eventually. Alright. It's like the one after this. So, the one I can see in the distance? Uh... Yeah, the one you can see in the distance. Alright. But anyway, so, so that's more or less the summary of this adventure. You're essentially going from island to island... Or you're going from shrine to shrine collecting skulls, essentially. So you can bring him to this ritual. And that's more or less the adventure. Interesting stuff, because like I said, it does answer, or at least unintentionally answer a bunch of questions like, where did the binding magic for, you know, binding souls to objects came from? Well, it came from the ancients, and it may have originated with this, you know ancient warrior and binding his soul to his remains is an act of servitude beyond death essentially of course uh, an intelligent person might see that as an opportunity to cheat death as well because technically if you die your soul goes to the afterlife however if you bind it to your remains you can use other magic to bring yourself back later which is pretty much what flameheart is trying to do or has done yeah but i'd be willing to bet the guy has a lot more than just that going on True. Being able to project Pendragon. himself uh, in the <laughs> sky and all that. Yeah, it's true. He has a lot of other shit he has found out how to do as well. They also did it for Pendragon because Grey Marrow bound his soul to his painting, so to his own portrait, I mean. So it doesn't just work on human skulls or human body parts. It also answers some of the questions of what the certain shrines were, because certain, certain shrines are technically ancient structures that sank long ago, so the ancient priests that you kind of go to each time for the quest, you know, there's an option to be like, what was this place? And he'd be like, oh, well, this was this place long ago, and da 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 So it is an interesting way to world build. I think this is probably one of the most world building quests we've had in a while. <laughs> I love it, because when you're looking at it this way, you just are, you're pulling air. <laughs> yes. Do not question me. You're not the only I one who can perform <laughs> your space char magic. Your character, basically, when he's pulling on it, he'll look up and you just see him smiling be like, E. <laughs> yes, I can, do, I can do the magics just like you, child. I can do space magic. But anyways, that's the massive summary of the quest. 
I say all of this because, like I said, there's only two days of the quest left as of the recording of this video, and we'll be posting this on Wednesday, and we're recording this on Tuesday, so you have until Thursday to complete this quest, so... Unfortunately, by the time you probably hear this, you'll either have one day or no days left to complete this, depending. So, uh... Consider this a summary of our... of the quest and my opinion of it overall. So, as for my opinion of the quest overall, here, I'll, I'll steer us. Uh, drop the sails a bit. We're a little too far out still. Eh, we're not out far enough. <laughs> that'll do, that'll do. But, anyways. My opinion of the quest, it's a nice quest. Um, especially after the last adventure, which basically took you to a individual PvP space, or... For those who don't know, the last adventure basically went off horribly because the actual concepts of the adventure was ra uh, uh, rescuing Merrick from basically the Dark Brethren, as they call themselves. Uh, drop this a little bit more. I think we're on the wrong side of the island. Well, do we want to be on this side, or do we like? Does it matter? Unless you want a long walk. All right. Actually, eh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Here, I'll bring us around to the other side. All right. But anyways, so the last adventure, for those who don't know, went off horribly. Because for those who don't know, Arena got taken out of Sea of Thieves. Bring us up to half-mast, because then it won't be so fast. Yeah, no. Right around here-ish, we'd probably want to aim for. Shiny. Ch shiny. Okay, bring us up. So anyways, Arena got taken out, which means there's a lot of PvP sweats who uh, had nowhere to go. Mm, to casual I go, then. <laughs> yeah, no. Unfortunately, the most recent adventure had what I would call a terrible idea implemented. I, I know it's bad practice to drop the anchor, but... Well, yeah, we can drop it, know. stop, and then put it back. I don't know if you drift off, though, when you're too far off from an island. I don't know. I don't think you will. I mean, because we stopped it, we should be dead stopped right now because the sail is all the way up. All right. Anyways. There is so. option B if we do. <laughs> There's option option B. Take a mermaid. But anyways. Option mermaid. Well, technically, that's option C, but all right. <laughs> it's option C. Ooh, an emerald mermaid gem. Here, I'll take this back. But, um, oh, that's weird. Maybe she's gone. I don't know. You should still be here if there's two days left. I might have to refine my answer of you can still do the adventure because I've not seen any indications that you can still do it despite the fact it says it's still active. Uh, we'll get back to you on that one as we search around this island. But anyways, as for my review, like I said, the last adventure had you going from basically island to island. Well, actually, no. It had you saving Merrick from the Dark Brotherhood, which basically meant you went to the Sea of the Damned, which took advantage of the portal mechanic introduced in the Pirate's Life missions, where you went to the Sea of the Damned, which, in the, tar in the Tall Tales adventures, took you to a completely separate server, which is nice, because then you didn't have to worry about being messed with by other players. You'd think this would be the introduced for the adventure, right? Wrong! So, the way the adventure worked is that... Yes, it took you to a separate server, or a separate, you know, kind of pawned off server. But the nature of the adventure meant you had to use six other crews, or multiple other crews, to do the adventure. What's better? All of these crews were confined to a little space, a very little space, and... Oh, did I mention uh, player damage was turned on? Now, if you don't know what this is probably going to end up with, I'll just spell it out for you. Basically, it ended up being a, a giant adventure of Team Deathmatch. Now, granted, Team Deathmatch had nothing to do with the actual adventure, but it was very convenient. That's what everyone did. Also, did I forget to mention that because of the way the adventure worked, the respawn times were instantaneous? Which isn't even how regular Sea of Thieves works. So, like I said, Team Deathmatch just became the way of the adventure. A lot of people didn't even get that adventure completed for that one reason, I'm sure. Yes. This is kind of in the same vein of the mess up that was a uh, uh, coral message in a bottle. We might go to a shrine after all, albeit for a different reason. <laughs> but um. But yeah, after the Megalodon adventure, which required an entire 
basically server's amount of people to complete one adventure. Which, you know, in Sea of Thieves, a game where everyone is basically out for themselves. Yeah, that's not happening. And like I said, it just turned into a massive game of Team Deathmatch with no one actually doing the activity. So, all that said, you'd think after the Megalodon adventure, which ended up being decent to meh at best in terms of success, they would stop making adventures that demanded everyone work together, mm -hmm. or at least not to that degree. But instead, they did the exact opposite, like I said, and made that adventure, which confined a bunch of people to a little space, allowed them to blow each other to kingdom come. Oh, yeah, and turned off the respawn recount. Oh, and turned off the respawn uh, timer. Fun. So, <laughs> yeah, that went over terribly. So, it's a good thing they learned, like I said, that this new adventure doesn't allow you to do... Oh, here we are on this side of the island, over here. Founder! You can still do them. I was not wrong. You just had to find it. Yep. Though I might have been wrong on that direction down then. We may have been right the first time when you took us over to the other side. So on this side? Oh, well, whatever. Uh, yeah. But it's alright. So, come over here. I'm working my way over. But yeah, so... This one, like I said, basically just has you going from shrine to shrine to shrine. The biggest problem, like I said, is just that, you know, the biggest issue that's always been around with shrines and treasuries, they're all underwater, right? Which are sectioned off instant servers of their own, or at least I believe they are, which means you won't have to deal with anyone else, but your server is still visible on the main world map. So people have issues where they... Why, why are you... <laughs> the room. This. Why the are you the making this... You want... A skull? You want this? I you want a I, skull? I butchered that, but I guess you don't know what that meme is right now, then, do you? No, I don't. I'm uncultured. I'm you sorry. Fool. It's I, basically I, 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 an addition to the Chad meme at this point. I also, see. bird. Bird. No bird. But yeah, here's. Bird. bird. <laughs> and no bird. <laughs> bird. But yeah, here's Bell over here, and two ancients. We actually get to see them. They were already kind of shown to us in the uh, Legend Adventures, because I know Pirate Legends can do a certain quest that involves them as well, so we get to see them. But we actually get to talk to them here as well, so we get to see them in a more official capacity in this adventure outside of just kind of quest mechanics. So it's good to see them getting more involved in the story, as well as the ancient question that's always been in Sea of Thieves of what happened to the ancients. Over the years, many people have thrown around questions as to what happened to them from, you know, Great Catastrophe to maybe a Great War to maybe they just all up and left the Sea of Thieves. Turns out it was a bit of the third option, but not in the way anyone suspected. Like I said, they all just kind of drank the Kool-Aid one day and went on a death march into the next life. Drank the Kool-Aid. Well, in, it's less of it they drank the Kool-Aid by doing, you know, offing themselves, and more that they just used a magic portal to transport all of themselves to the land of the dead. Yes. Because, like I said, apparently death is whatever you make of it, literally. like Death is a concept invented by the, the government. <laughs> it's all a conspiracy. Deep state. Deep state. Us but, pirates um... don't even know how to spill it. But, yeah. Apparently, like I said, depending on what you kind of envision through the sea of the damned you can kind of make whatever you want there including whoever you want there so it's even been floated that if you knew how you could like make people in the sea of the damned and take them back with you or take objects back with you which some people theorize is how some objects came to the sea of thieves which weren't originally there or at least potentially there but yeah that is why the ancients refer to it as paradise because they envisioned it as paradise, and when they went there, because they all thought of it as paradise, that's what they saw. So they're all like, we'll go to paradise. Yes. Basically, it's a basically it's the end result of a death cult, only it actually worked. Did you just shoot a cannonball at me? I shot myself out of a cannon. Okay, for a second, I thought you shot a cannonball at me like traitor i'm here now you fool okay there you go I anyways let us runner. begin this quest let us begin this quest because i do have some coral 
a coral quest, so maybe we might be able to. Which 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 coral place is this? Uh, Shrine of Tribute. Actually, that's one place we need to go for the quest. Cool. That'll actually work out well. So we go over here. But like I said, the issue that comes with this quest is the issue that's always been with shrines, and it's the potential of someone basically scuttling your ship while you're up there. Uh, my advice when it comes to doing shrines is what I've always done. Um, use a dummy ship. Like, if you're a captain like I am, you don't have to use your own ship. Yeah, you won't get any commendations for the stuff you do, but it's a sacrifice you, at least I'm willing to make to avoid being, you know, messed with while I'm down in the shrines. Plus, there's also the uh, advice Falcor gives over on his channel, which is just, if you're doing a shrine, scuttle your ship. Because, like I said, it's still visible on the world map, even if you are not, you're down in the shrine, which is a separate instance server. That's actually so people a can little... just wait for you. That's actually a little, um... Hmm, bra moment. It's like, what? oh, you're no longer in the server. You're no longer in this instance, but your ship is. Therefore, it can your be... ship is still there. Yeah. That's, <laughs> so people that's can just wait for you to come moment. back up again. Uh, let, let's yeah, just people... say it for what it is. That is, in fact, a bra moment. Well, this is kind of a game that's based around player interaction by the developer's own admission. So I feel like that is ver that is obviously very intentional. Yeah, but it's still a bra moment. So yeah. And plus, in shrines and uh, treasuries, there's mermaids where you can deposit your treasure in, which we'll see when we do one of them ourselves, because why not? Yes, that is my actual ship, so if it gets sunk, I'm screwed, but yeah, I'll pay for the damages. What the hell? For the sake of the show, I'll take the I'll take the L. Is that so? If we have to. So anyways, talk to Belle. Replay chapter. Before we contend. Interesting. Speak what? to Salty. Not another visitor. Leave Salty alone. Come back. Come here. Come over here. Come over here. Oh, yeah. That's another tall tale. Ow. I'm that's dying. a tall tale character. I am coming. Can't the... leave you alone for ten seconds. Yeah, well, when you're talking in dialogue and get attacked, it's not really my fault. Anyways, come over here. We need to stall it together because we're part of a crew. Yes. Bell. Explain things to me. Why is that not? Why? Why? He's right here. My crew is right here. There we go. I guess you weren't close enough. Apparently not. And we'll just kind of sit here. Actually, no, we won't. We'll just leave. Bye, have a good time. Bye, have a good time. I say this because at the end of the day... Well, actually, here. Go back to the ship, and I'll just kind of wait here to make sure that we actually do it properly, because... I don't want her to actually have, like, a second part that we don't actually accomplish. I love how you can still, like, see her dialogue even if you're not close by. Yep. I am clairvoyant. Voyancy. But anyways. But yeah, so you go from shrine to shrine, and you collect these pieces of the skull so you can bring them back so they can let their warrior free, or set their warrior free. That's what I should have said. And since we actually, or I have actually found... Oh, no, no, there we go. We're fine. To the ship! To the ship. If I can find it. <laughs> Just follow the path. Follow the path. Follow the yellow brick road. Or follow my username. That too. And here's extra planks. Or I'm scuttle kind of yourself. The... Nah. I'm also raiding the supply crates around here if we need them. There you go. Extra stuff. But anyways, like I said, if you're doing this a quest or anything revolved to shrines, like I said, I always just use a dummy ship and scuttle it, just so I can do it. Um, in the shrines, there are mermaid statues, which you can deposit your loot in to come back later to collect. Which, uh, I'll demonstrate for the sake of the stream when we get to one. But, um, so yeah, it's not a big risk. Just make sure that when you come to collect your loot, there's no one nearby. Otherwise, you might have an issue. Also, that Grogmacy flag might be a bit um, of an issue. <laughs> it's a bit of a giveaway. 
Mm. I think I'll change that flag out. Here. Go downstairs and plot us to the Shrine of Tribute, because that's one place we need to go to. Plus, I have a coral quest. I have that's an idea on where them. that is. Uh, look for the shrines. They should be marked differently on the map. They're pretty obvious. There's a big circle. <laughs> big Shark circle. Big cove. Should just get rid of them all. Oops. Plunder Valley. Should be over in the Sea of Plenty, over to the left. Yeah, yeah, zoom in. There you go, now go up. Up, up, up. There you go. Look for places like that. This. Yes, that. Boom. Yes. <laughs> Give me the map. Are we close enough? I think we're on it. There we go. So we're going up north now, then. Wrong place. We're looking for... Uh, not that one. Uh, not that one. Uh, not that one. That one! So, down south. Down south. And you'll know where it is on the ocean, because they're not islands or ocean spots, and they're just kind of blue, circly places. So, you know, the, the, those things that people occasionally go down to. I know. Yeah, no. Those are the shrines. <laughs> That's why I said you have to be careful. <gasps> yeah. Oh, my poor ship is unattended. I don't trust it, but you know what? For the sake of the show, I'll take the L. I mean, one of us could stay up and the other could go down. You're the cameraman, though, and I know where I'm going. So unless you want to solve the shrine by yourself. Here we go. Let's -a go. <laughs> dodges the question. It dodges the question. Let's but, uh... go. Mario's gonna suffer. <laughs> but um, why the frick? My technical glitches when I just see water splashing through the hull into the ship. That's concerning. But um, but yeah. So like I said, you go from shrine to shrine, collecting stuff, and just bring them back to Bell. All in all, my opinion of the adventure is it's nice because it's a single adventure again. You don't need people to complete it. I sound incredibly antisocial saying that, but it's true. especially when you play a game like Sea of Thieves, which, as the developers will say a thousand times over, is based on player interaction. But here's the thing. In Sea of Thieves, that player interaction is generally very singular. In it's... as in, they'll sink your ship. That's the interaction. Yeah, yeah, like, that's the thing. Let's be honest here. Their so-called player interaction is literally kill people. Kill your friend. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. There are people who are friendly on the Sea of Thieves. They exist, and I know they exist, because I've met them on a few occasions. I've drunk with a few of them. Uh, in the game, that is. But, <laughs> you know, most of the time when you see another player... Paranoia is going to be the first response that you're probably going to get, and for dang good reason. Though, if you complete this particular adventure, like I said, in the next two days, you get this particular sail that Justin is currently raising. Yes, because we're practically. Plus, on if you top complete the, the full thing by getting all the lore, you'll get the uh, you'll get the title of Ancient Warrior. Kind of an homage to the idea that all the <laughs> I didn't know you were on the wheel. I just saw the wheel turning. Mm. Anyways, and here we are. Wait, let me just make sure this is the right place. Should be. Yep, and here we are. I'm like, there's only one shrine that was south of us, so I'm pretty sure there let should be it. Let me just put this mermaid gem underneath, though, just in case. And the skull. Um, <laughs> just in case. So, uh, cameraman! Why do I feel like I should leave the ship turning like this? It doesn't matter. Should I? No, no, just leave it straight. All right, fine. Because technically, if we collect from the mer, the mer is going to appear technically right in the middle of this spot, so we might actually be covering them, and that will prevent them from spawning properly. Do we move? So yeah, camera, but isn't that a good thing? Hope you enjoy swimming. But no, I'm a hold. hold. And swimming. <laughs> he, of course, he ignores that part. You know, the uh, <laughs> go. Isn't that a good thing? Going and preventing the, the our enemies from spawning properly. I'm just going no, to the, ignore the that. No, the siren, the, not the, the mermaid, you know, the one with our treasure. Mm. That one. <laughs> we need that one. 
Welcome to the Shrine of Tribute. Now, I should probably warn if you're a thalassophobia or a fear of open water, you probably shouldn't watch this episode. Perhaps. It immediately pans up to open water. <laughs> <laughs> Gifts. Uh, thalassophobia increases. But, um... Also, I just remembered I have... Oh, do I have ammo? I, I think I have. I don't know. Yeah, you'll get ammo boxes down here. It'll be fine. Yeah, I'll be fine. Now... This one's a bit more straightforward to find the entrance to. Just swim to the circle. Hold on, I'm going to swim to that little watery thing so I don't drown by accident. Oh. Call me crazy, but I think they up the actual uh, lung capacity ever since they put these things in or after a little I bit think, after. Yeah, no, I think like when it comes to these... Yeah, I think when it comes to these things, you, you, uh, you get an increased rate. Now, let's go in first, because if we take too long, sharks will start spawning, and sharks will eat you. Yes. Don't you want to Now, there's eaten? actually a little trick to opening this door, and I'm going to come down here and see if our cameraman can figure it out. <laughs> Feels like the freaking Warframe episode. Cameraman! Where are you? You're the hunter. Can you figure it out? Yeah, I'm the hunter. I'm the one who runs around yeah. throwing knives at people's skulls. Yeah, you're the pathfinder. You should figure out how to open a door. Yeah, it's called blow it up. <laughs> That's the titan mentality. Uh, yeah, you can call it titan mentality if you want. It's a good idea. Especially okay, if the fine. Door Move over. Value. This is taking too long. Let the scholar do it. This thing here. Okay. I thought that... That was something, but I didn't want to do anything with that yet. I thought there was there'd be something I you had to pick up and just move it instead so of being a switch. welcome to the Shrine of Tribute. Yeah, honestly, the music in the shrines is actually quite nice. It, props to whoever does the music for the Sea of Thieves uh, game. They really did a good job. Turn with the to ship. Yeah, that's the mermaid statue I was talking about. You can also deposit your treasure here to pick up later. You know, the treasure that Justin parked our ship right over top of. But anyways. Meh. <laughs> Meh. We just uh, go underneath. You might want to know how to do the shrine. All right. Did they come here. Where are you wanting to go? If you played the Pirate's Life Tall Tales, you'll probably recognize this mechanic. Where you go around and you find siren statues and you match them to what the painting says. Or the mural, I should say. I don't know what that last one is. Like, the first one is chains. That's the horn one. Okay, so... Oh, you mean this thing? Yeah, this oh, one's this this one's horn. This one's chains. What's the middle one, then? Uh, we kind of just call that one coral. I don't think it has an official name. I think it's just coral. Okay, so... so that chain, last one is chains. Chains are, are medium, and horn is high. Fun fact about this shrine, too. If you poke around, you actually can find some treasure lying about. Hmm. The nice thing about shrines and treasuries is that the, gener that the treasure uh, is randomly generated. So sometimes you'll go into shrines or treasuries and find next to nothing. Sometimes you'll go in and find a ton of stuff. It just depends. As I find something. Yeah, there you go. Actually, I find a, f a couple things. Interesting. I'm going to. So if you want, you can take that back to the mermaid statue and deposit it. We can pick that up later. Yes. And if you come in here, to the central chamber, you will find our priest friend who is part of the mission. I will guide you, young traveler. Uh, once Justin is finished looting. Uh, <laughs> or perhaps, yeah, this would perhaps go... tomb robbing would be the better term here. Yeah, well, this would go by faster if you help. Because there's, there's, there there's another two. Fine, fine. Where is it? Come, uh, come from that direction that you're coming. You might be able to get to oh, it. Oh, I think I see the shiny. Yeah. Yeah, no, I see the shiny. Okay. Because, yeah, there's a ch uh, chest and it should be one more thing. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, Seafarer's chest. I'm going to prioritize the mermaid gem, uh, this thing, because that sells for more. Yeah. Money is money. <laughs> Hoard a huge null of chest at once. I love how that's a commendation. Also, if you flick this switch, something happens. I've yet to figure out what. Oh, I, I just figured out what. What? It opened 
up a little cavity right over here, but I don't think it does anything. Ah, uh, yeah, no. That one is potentially where loot spawns. Like, the cavities in the walls you can sometimes find loot in. That's what I was talking about earlier, about that randomly generated fact about shrines and treasuries. Meanwhile, this loot just spawns in the middle yeah, of the floor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it can be pretty weird sometimes, but anyways. Take it. Right. Take my thing. Thank you. But, um... Anyways, so let us continue because there is something really shiny here. The good stuff's always at the end. But, um. Keep going that way and then you'll find a central chamber. Go in and. Well, yeah, no, see. I figured if I kept going in the direction that you came from. Also, there's, there's a, also there journals was another here sh that you... shiny in here, but I'll keep going for now. Oh, there's a lot more shiny in the end. Yeah. That's why I'm, I'm going and just keeping track of where's what but anyways like i said um shrines are like i said very interesting stuff you can get some good loot here some rare loot here oh even a skull yeah there's a disgrace coral skull though not worth the trouble yeah, but that was probably the same skull but you can also find some journals around here which will help you for the commendations specifically linked to the shrines but that's not part of the adventure that's just something you can do on your own uh wrong chamber but interesting that you found this one I've yet to find a way to open this door because apparently there's oh, there's no loot back there this time. There was last time I was here. Okay, this one was gem. Where is that? What was that? Medium or low? Uh, there was chains. The horn. The horn was high. Chains was uh low. Chor horn is just horn. Uh, you just knock that one to trigger them all. Here's the horn one. If you're curious. Over here. Okay. This uh, this one doesn't move. You just knock him to trigger the other ones. Plus, if you come in here, this is a central chamber. And there's oxygen. There's oxygen. Yeah, there's oxygen. If you come over here, you'll find our priest friend should be right here, around here somewhere. Yeah, there he is. If you come over here and you be like, hello, hello. <laughs> he'll continue your quest and he'll give you the directions as to how to finish this particular part ah here's the chains one yes. uh, chains was what lower here you know what I'm gonna there go go. over and I'll, I'll make sure that uh, we know exactly and what. Uh, the other one was pretty typically well hidden it's actually back here I right. wouldn't even know. I had to look up a guide to find this one. Alright. Remind me what coral was. And that's what I'm going to go check now. Swimming, 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 swimming. <laughs> swimming Why do swimming, I feel swimming. like the occasional like rocks that have the green dots are like something from Subnautica? Maybe, it's maybe. Like the bacteria disease. Like... All right, so <laughs> charming, aren't it? So the chains one was the lowest. Yeah, what's the coral one? The I'm coral right one is at medium, mm -hmm. and then the last that. one is high. Okay, coral is medium now. It's in a little nook that you have to. Honestly, the the coral one is pretty well hidden. It's like off to the f like really back of the chamber in like a little secret cavern. I had to look up a guide to find it. And you had the gem. I'll sit by the mermaid uh, thingy. What do you mean? What? Head to, uh, you know where Gem is, so you head to Gem and fix that one. I don't know where that one is. It's the one you just passed. What? What do you mean just passed? Ah, uh, never mind. I'll do it. Okay, what was it again? I I was by the the sign, like the the sign that told you the all. The... Yeah, no. Uh, what was it? What did the sign say for Gem again? That one should be the highest. Okay. Yeah, in that little extra chamber you went to on the side, if you went to the far back, that was Gem. Oh, is that the side one that I was at? Yeah, the little one with the like rock in its end. Oh, okay, okay. Anyways, that's all of them. So if you'll come back to the central chamber, I have something to show you. Yeah, I'm coming. 
and our audience, of course. This is a very colorful episode, since we're in a shrine. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, I won't bum, even I won't bum, even lie. Bum. Before we started this episode, I was actually watching parts of the Caribbean to psych myself up for this. I was looking forward to this episode. Yes. Now, while you're coming here, I'll basically do the uh, preliminary explanation. Yep. So basically, there's a way for you to learn more about the ancients, and it has to do with a triumph. So if you ask the ancient guy, like, how do I learn more about the ancients? He'll be like, ah, oh, search for my writings. My, I have one writing here, 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 and here, and he'll kind of give you the riddle places. And if you find all of the writings in all of the shrines, then you get the ancients warrior uh, title from this. Usually that's how adventures work. There's a cosmetic that they award, plus a title if you do everything, everything. The cosmetic is just for completing it preliminarily. So, I'll show you where one of the stones is, or at least in the Shrine of Tribute. First, we do that. You can at least hear that, I assume. Speak! Or vomit! That works, too. Read the book. That is one of the stones. So, dear audience and Justin, if you ever look for the stones in the next two days, now you know what they look like. And if you read it, there's one of them. So, anyways, if you come back here, that'll open up the next part of the puzzle. Where are you... where the heck is it? There it is on the far end. This is a chance for more treasure to spawn, but it's not where the full treasure spawns. Right, we come up here... And this is fairly easy once you get to this part. If I can... Oh, there it is. Hey, do you know where the dude went, or do you just... Oh, he teleports up here. Okay. So, He's like, dead, you, you, you've so. watched him teleport type of thing? Uh, not that he watches teleport, he just kind of teleports on his own. He's up here now. Well, That's the perks of being technically a spirit, I guess. You can just kind of apparate to places. Do what you will. Yeah, he kind of apparates away when you give him the thing, too, so... Does You'll this, see. Does this one have to be the same as the the last, or where's the sign for this one? What do you mean? Oh, no, this one's a different one. So what you do with this part is, see these floor panels? Yeah. There's three of them spread throughout this little mini area. You just kind of click on all of them. You just kind of stand on all of them in succession, and that kind of fixes it. So I'm just going to take... Nah. Take the gold. Take the gold. All of this is nice, but there's good stuff near the end. Ooh, a ruby. I'll take that, though. They sell for a ton. However, you can go and put more things into... That's the... true! I keep forgetting. Uh, which one has more? Uh, this one has no, most of the yeah, good no, stuff, just so I'll put, put it in here. Yeah, put, put that one in there. There we go. Close that. I pick this up. And off to the siren we go. And off to the mermaid, I suppose, we go. Different species, my mistake. As a lore master, I should not be making these, uh, these, uh, petty mistakes. Assumptions. Petty mistakes. You can also collect your loot from the siren down here, too, if you want to, like, redo all the loot. But don't get too full on this one, because we'll have a lot more in a minute. Yeah, but we should be able to go and just pick up a chest, which holds three items, and it counts as one. Whoops. Hey! There's a ruby gem here. You forgot that! <laughs> Right. Prioritize, the, prioritize the siren gems. Right, we'll the take a look, look at what's inside and tell tell me what which one should go. Okay. Uh, put that down. Uh, coffer, that'll stay. Disgrace, that can stay. Foul, that goes. Um, wait, what does the disgrace look like? What about these two? Do one of these two sell okay. more for the other skull? Uh, ooh, particular coral relic. Actually, the skull can go and this can go in there then. This is for the gold hoarders. And that's for the, obviously, soul people. But coffers usually sell more anyway, so we can put that in there. If it'll go in. It should. There, there we go. go. And the ruby, because that sells for a ton to everyone. So, you can close that and take that out. Actually, I'll do it. Mine. Oh, you can do it then. Mine but anyways, now. you stepped on a floor panel, so I'll now find the other two. One right here. There's one right there, and careful, because you might fall if you're not careful. 
one over here. And presto! But uh, watch... if you come back here, there's as, good as, treasure. As I watch a pillar move. There's two chests here, but forget them. This is what we're really after. Remember how I said that I got a coral uh, message in a bottle? Yeah. We'll see what that was telling me for. Energy drink! Can I drink it? No, I can't. This sells for a ton. You can only get them after finding random coral messages in a bottle randomly throughout the world, so... I've not actually ever gotten one yet. Uh-oh. Hear that? Stay out of the water. We got company. Yeah, I'm trying to look to see where they are. Oh, I see him. I got him. Here, wait. Drop the chest. I'll go deal with them. <gasps> Come on, fish face. He's still coward. Alright, that's one. I don't see any more. They would have come out of hiding by now. All the same. Let's be careful in the water from now on. Yep. After you complete, like, more or less the shrine, the mer or the sirens start coming out, so... Word to the wise to our intrepid viewers. Once you finish a shrine, or at least a good chunk of it, be careful. Be ready to fight. Pretty much. Now, about that coral energy drink. <sighs> Take that. If I can grab it again. Somehow this is going to stay in the bottle as I jump in the water. Yep. Not going to question it. Do not question my tactics. <laughs> Do not question how this works. It is not worth questioning. So, we deposit in the myrrh. And now we have our coral energy drink. Yes. Those little statues that are in the back there, those little pillars or columns, that's where you'll generally find uh, those energy drinks. If you, Those are where you'll find the energy drinks if you get a coral message in a bottle. So word to the wise, to our intrepid viewers. Now, to go after the real prize. I'll let you deposit that first, though. Get, get them. Grab them. Oh, those two can stay. Just grab them. Fine! We have more than well, enough have to... slots. Oh, we won't. Trust me. We won't. Okay, well, You'll at least, see why in a minute. At least grab one of them. They go in here? Fine. Hmm? Do we take them in here, or where, where do we no, go? No, no, no. Up, 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 up. Where is it? Deposit all the treasure you find with the sirens, because you or the myrrh statue, because you can either do this, or you can haul it back up to the surface by hand, which uh, I don't think either of us want to do. Okay, real quick. Let me double check to make sure. Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, it's only five. We've got space for the other one. All right, oh. fine. I'll bring it. I'll bring the coral. Yeah, because like, we, we have we have top twenty you slots. So I've and, and if you really like tw I've... twenty-two slots if you count us if we carry one each. True, but we might drown if we do that. Mm, maybe. But uh, anyways, like I said, there is. The other place. I have gone to these places a lot, and I have accidentally overflowed my Murr statue, so <laughs> that's why I'm cautious. Now we come down here, and we get the real prize. Behold, the vault. Remember how I said the ancients gave a lot of tribute back when they were alive? Well, this is where they went to deposit all of that tribute. Behold, the tribute hall. Hmm. A lot less than normal. Oh, there's also I'll a mur down here. Where is he? He's swimming in the floor. Oh, swimming in the floor? Okay, yeah. He's an idiot then. All right. You just kind of. Apparently, this siren has mental problems. Out of oh, his well, misery. No harm, no foul. Kill him. <laughs> you will be oh, free, little one. You... <laughs> that was a siren leader? Okay, note to the siren queen invest in better minions because I think they might have issues. Your minions I think are your fools. minions aren't that well trained. Oh, there was also a treasure thing down here as well. Ah. Behold the vault. This is usually where you find the most good stuff. This is at the this treasure chest is at the end of every shrine and treasury. 
it is unique to each of the places, and it is very, very, shall we say, expensive. So this is coming with us. I should have probably also labeled this video a, a tutorial on shrines and, like, treasuries, considering everything, but whatever. Meh. Anyways. Also, side note, this is what we came to this particular trimple for. Behold the Voice of the Ancients, one of the three treasures as mentioned prior. They're in these, like, little boxes. Yes. Technically, it's called the Voice of the Ancients, but it's really, I think, just a jawbone. Which... I don't know if that's a great naming convention or a terrible naming convention. Regardless, I'll take this up to our friend. Actually, come with me. Let us watch our friend apparate together. For no moment, no. <laughs> he has to loot. Yes. Oh my god. You give me. Yes. You give me the game. Technically, he's not loot. looting. He's tomb robbing. Yes, but it's still looting. I'm still gaining money. I'll remind you, this is technically a tomb we're robbing, but anyways. So, if the dead <laughs> wanted it safe, they would have either A, went and made a better uh, lock, or B, spoke... stopped us. Spoken like a true pirate. So what? So... Yeah, I'm just going to say. They don't for... need it anymore. I'm just so... going to say it for what it is. If you wanted it to be locked, either A, you should have invested in a better lock, or B, stopped us by now. Well, they did try. They just weren't very good at it. Yeah, obviously. Uh, what's that? What's that line from like uh, from Ghost of Tsushima where the character's like, "Wait, that belongs to the guy," or he's like trying to rob from a corpse, and he's like, "Wait, that belongs to people who live here," and like the the woman thief is like, "Yeah," and they're not coming back for it. <laughs> yeah, they're not coming back anytime soon. So yeah. Anyways, we take this to our friend to complete this particular part of the three shrines. Oh, there's stuff in the water. We yep. have space if you want, you can bring that to them. But we can do that after. Yep. First, to our friend. Make sure we eliminate any other potential hostile. Oh yeah, you just kind of walk past a tablet for lore, but like I said, we've already shown our viewers what those look like, so you can find the rest in your own. So anyways, we give this to him and we take your thing he bows politely and then apparates away see what I mean and he's gone <laughs> oh for a second I thought you were gone too I'm like Jesus Christ apparently he's not the only one apparating the brave adios master but anyways and there we have it that's one of three now we could go to all three of the vaults but we've kind of already Interesting. So I guess if you don't take the loot after a certain point, they just kind of start sinking to the bottom again. Yeah. It's like that in the normal ocean, too. No, that's all right. All right, so I'm guessing... So anyways, that's this shrine completed, so we can leave. I'm guessing we, we just dump this off here and then leave. We've got enough to haul in the Murr statue in the Murk and just take us back. I'm going to take the last skull that's beginning to slowly sink to the bottom. I have to cover the cost of this voyage. Ah, so in other words, you did want loot. Oh, oh, oh I'm a pirate. I always want loot. Mm. Just a question of how long I'm willing to sit with my ship unattended on the surface. I see. And that's that. So, shall we go? Yep. And Siren, take us back, please. Take you back, then take me back. Take me back. Now, the question, is our ship still intact? Should be. Please tell me yes. Yep. So, hey! It didn't sink! So, let's see, where's all the loot? Uh, mermaid... Ah, there they are! Listen to the song. You mean the person that's... There's our carrier pigeon right now. Right over here. I'm going to turn the ship around because there's a clever way of doing this. Yeah, you know, being right beside it. I know, I know. I'm not going to activate them until uh, you get a little closer. Uh, let me just check something. 
Oh yeah, no, that's a bit long range. Yeah, you're gonna want to be a little closer than that. should do now as our audience will see mer mer come here mer ah, come back you got too close come back you have my shiny kind of need to stop the boat next time i raised the thing up all the way yeah Ugh. but the the boat kept going uh, Alright, I'm turning it around. Storm. Here. Alright, drop it. Uh, Alright, pick it up. Pick. Is that a player? Ow! No, that was a thunderbolt. Bro. That nearly killed me. My hero ship! Oh, fine. Well, it. Oh, just. Where is he? For, ah, there he is. Yeah, we're, Turn us around. Yeah, but we're Here, also tell you what, sinking. I'll man the, I'll man the thing. I'd prefer a storm to a player. I'm gonna regret those words. Watch you watch. Eh, I know how to handle a storm. On my mark, drop the anchor. Hit the anchor! <clears throat> Damned it all! He, he, A bit too late. A little too late for you. Called no it. matter, he's over there. That's close enough. Uh. Oops, wrong button. Eat banana. Eat another banana. Right. Give me loot. Thank you. Mm. I'm going to collect the most shiny thing first. If you see the coral thingy, grab that. I'm just grabbing what I can. Blooded dagger. Yes, thank you for reminding me of my ship. This show is proving to be a little more entertaining than usual. Right. Where is that coral? Aha! I'm not letting that thing go. The rest can sink to Jones for all I care. But I'm not letting that energy drink slip away. As I continue nope. to pick up everything around me. Well, I'm doing it the long way, okay? Not my fault there's only one of those on the side. You could have turned the ship. I mean, I could have, yeah, but I don't want to risk losing or getting too close again and... We get unfortunately in a position where we can't use that thing anymore. You just turn the ship. Right. If you want to start putting this in in the under under area. Yeah, just start swimming for it. There's not much left anyway. No, I pick it up. <laughs> Fine, be difficult. I pick it up. Curse you, boat. <laughs> Curse you, boat. Excellent. He Never managed to get me. it all. Never doubt He's a hunter. Me. I would imagine his aiming would at least be good. Yes. Right. We are only known and that's for that. one. We are only known for one very specific skill. We hone that skill well. Right. Now there's plunder outpost due east of here, so we'll head there. Let's make sure this is at least kind of hidden a little. Oh, don't matter. I'll steer the ship. You, uh, manage the horde. Okay. Unless I get hit by... No, I'm not gonna say that, because then it's gonna happen. Yeah, so don't speak. I don't intend to. It's like, do not jinx it. Right. Look 
the hell? Do make sure we don't sink. That's kind of a law rule of thumb. Why? Why are holes being busted in the ship? Storms do that. Hole, close up hole. Quick look around to make sure there isn't any more hole. No. All right, we're coming out of it. My compass is starting to actually stay straight, so. You know, something that technically should happen during a storm, but you know. Eh, storms mess up with compasses, especially if you're hard of, if you're in the heart of them. Shouldn't if we're not in the heart of it, though. Especially How's the bailing going? At infinite, because you know apparently this game doesn't know when to uh, reach. Well, the it's bottom. rain. You're never gonna get rid of all of it in the rain. You're always gonna have a little bit. Well, no, but even when you're out of the rain, it's like ah, yeah, no, there's more bailing. Keep going. Why do I hear it? Oh hell no! What? Bring her about! I am not going in range of a bloody fortress cannon! Well, then why are you the one driving us into one? I had to, to get us out of the storm quickest. Well, now you I can... I didn't know it would trigger so soon, though. There we go. Now you can get us out of it. There, you... there we go. But, yeah, there you go. There, there's there's a, a tomb thing for everyone. There's a tune if you're interested. Check the map, would you? Where's the nearest outpost? Uh, we go. The east one is kind of beyond the storm, so we'd have to sail through that to get to there. But um, I that. the closest one yeah, is to the east. Uh, there isn't one for a good while. Not unless you want to go up north for a while. Let me see the map. Uh, shit, you're right. We might have to go through the storm. Well, here, let's see. Well, we survived the first time. Where's the storm? So it's that right straight behind us. We could skirt the edge. We might be able to skirt the edge. Here, let me... Bring us about! Can around. Why am I saying that? I'm on the one freaking. I'm on the. I'm the one on the wheel. Mm -hmm. Worst comes to worst, we can go through the middle, but I'd rather not. I wish I could tell which way it's. Actually, no. I think I know which way it's going. It always goes the direction the wind's going, right? Uh, not sure, honestly. I think I don't see why it shouldn't, because if the wind's blowing the one way, so then go up north a little more, and. All right. We will skirt it along the northern end. That's unless it's like right in the middle of the island. I have a feeling the storm's like right in the middle of the island. <laughs> Sitting right on like, top lo of the Looking island. at the position of where the storm is and where the island is on the map, it's like, hmm, that's not too far. All right, yeah, yeah, just go, go straight for a little bit. Oh, to hell with it. Straight through the eye then. Okay. Hope you all don't get seasick. I mean, you could just start going straight. Oh, now. hell no! Now what? What? I know that sound. The dark water? Oh, no. Look around us! Oh, we've got company. Of the dead kind. Oh, cool. Hopefully they don't hit us, but we'll see. Nope, never mind. They are very much in the aggressive mood. Evasive maneuver. Why am I saying it? I'm the one on the wheel. Well, we promised you some adventure. Here we go. Yep. Shit, they hit. Oh, a peace ball nonetheless. Maybe this storm was proving to be a worse idea by the minute. Yes. Yes, it was. How? Peace hurt. balls out. 
Yeah, well, I gotta kind of have to repair and bail for a quick second. That oh, never mind. They're using <laughs> used it again. Oh shit! They hit me. I'll give them Moxie. You know, I once saw someone use a chest of sorrow, which slowly fills a ship with water, to sink a skeleton ship. Because, as it turns out, skeletons have not perfected the bucket technology yet. Apparently not. Interesting. No, Anyways. so their ship just kind of slowly keeps filling until, you know, they sink. And weirdly enough, it actually counts as you sinking them. Hell knows why, but whatever. I mean, you picked up the chest, and you you pick, put the chest in their ship, so... Looks like they're pulling off. Good. Be they PvE or PvP, no one's stupid enough to go through a storm. Until I they say are. this as I go through a storm. I say this. What does this tell me? Alright, I will stay down here and I will keep bailing and... How's keep... the water level looking? It's good, don't worry about it. Just keep going. Uh, quickly check the map. Make sure we're still going on course. The map doesn't lie. The compass might, but the map doesn't. Uh, turn slightly to the left. Alright. Yeah, you're going right on it. Sweet. Not the first storm I've sailed through. Both in real life and none. Of yes, course. I have sailed the ship in real life. Fun fact for the audience. Yes. Ah. Lost gold for it. Uh -oh. Don't care. Might have to make a bit of evasive maneuvers, otherwise I might ram right into a rock. Alright, well... I know! Forgive me, then, gentlemen. I had to acknowledge another person in the room. Yes. Oh. Alright, we're all, almost Hopefully there. I don't hit the rocks. Navigating in the middle of a storm. Let's see if I'm good enough to avoid collat uh, uh, colliding with anything mid-storm. Well, do not worry, because any mistakes that are made are easily able to be corrected with the second person. True. Island Ahoy! And there's a freaking thing in the water. I guess someone sunk. <laughs> well, where? Oh, it's behind us. Never mind it. Alright, the storm should start letting up near an island, so be ready. Now, we're going to collect cash all of this in manually, because... Get I'm ready to ancient. slow us down, mate. Well, hit the, uh, thing, because I'm busy trying to make sure, you know, everything stays put. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen. You have successfully seen someone sail through the eye of a storm. With his trusty crew of one. And loot. Who said you can't do it? The fool. Alright, how's the sails looking? That's fine. As I, as I ominously hear thunder in the background. Yeah. Alright, drag up the sails all the way. Brilliant. On my mark, drop the anchor. Three, two, one. And drop it. And there we go. All it's right. a bit distant, but I'm willing to make a little bit of a walk. I'm going to start now, bringing everything. Let's start moving some loot. You move it to the front, I'll move it to the... Well, you know. Yeah. Where's my... Where's my, uh... Where's my thingy? Where'd you put the, uh... There it is. 
It's probably something you put down because you're the one who went looking for it and then was like, aha. No. Not my, uh, Breath of the Sea. Here we go. I never actually saw one of these before, gentlemen. My ladies and gentlemen. So, so let us see who takes it and what it sells for. So, you know. Oh, I'm, anyone will take it. I'm putting them down, uh, treasure down right at the ladder right where you are. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to try to get it off the side of the ship. Don't throw it off. <laughs> that much. Did you? <laughs> Why is loot just throw? Dude, you're throwing it over the side. Yes. Don't do that. It might sink. It it will literally sink just five inches. It sometimes despawns if it sinks, so probably not the wisest idea. Okay, well then put it on the the dock. Then what are you waiting for? I'm trying to! I can only carry one thing at a time. And before you ask why, I don't know. Ask the programmers. Chest, I can understand one chest at a time. Small items, I... Why Why not two? Eh. Alright. Alright, I'll, I'll get rid of this massive chest just so we don't have to deal with it. Yep. Yeah, that, that that's pretty much that. Get us some money. Yeah, you're you're good to start dumping it all out. <laughs> Sweet. After the damage my ship took, I'm going to need it to pay for repairs. <laughs> what, my patch job's not good enough? It's not that they're not good enough, it's just I like the pristine look. Ah, I see. So they're not good enough then. <laughs> I never said that. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> what, you don't trust me? No. Just like you don't trust me. <laughs> You're smart then. <laughs> yeah, it's like just like how you don't trust a single thing I do. Why should I trust you? I trust you manning the guns and manning our harpoon. Mm -hmm. I just don't always trust you manning the wheel. As I prove, I can easily pilot today. I'm the one who sold through the eye of the storm. Yeah, well, I'm the one who went and made sure we didn't sink. <laughs> By bailing and fixing holes. Yes, and shooting at the skeletons before you you finally decided see, to start. See, and that's why I trust you on the gun. Mm -hmm. Your shots are better than mine. I won't. I'll admit that. Very well. Uh, actually, I'm gonna sell the massive chest first. What's in it anyway? Okay, there should be the skulls and different stuff. Coral relic. Funny enough, the merchants will even accept the empty boxes, so. It's kind of the weird part. Not always. <laughs> sometimes they do, but sometimes they don't. Actually, you know, if you bring them an empty box, they'll be like, hey, yeah, we'll buy it off you. Don't ask me why. <laughs> they do, though. Including. And as for Siren Gems, ladies and gentlemen, fun fact anyone will accept it, including. And not limited to the Hunter's Call, who are the fishing groups. So if you're wanting Fash Fisher ranks, you can always go to them. Alright. So that's pretty much almost everything. There's just three more pieces of loot. Radio. Once you got it all done, you can help me start selling off. Dun 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 As we see one notification after another pop up. Yep. You do it fast enough, you see it endlessly. Honestly, you just see it endlessly. Emerald Mermaid Gem.
Unfortunately, we're running out of time here, ladies and gentlemen, so once we finish up this, uh, we'll call the stream well, here. is there any other things that you wanted to talk about for this, or...? Well, there is the final event, which is the Grand Hurrah, where you stand on the island and fight off tons of waves while they perform the ritual. It's quite interesting to see. Unfortunately, I'm kind of running short on time, so I don't know if we'll be able to see that. <laughs> I'm seeing, like, things I sold off, like, a while ago come up on the feed. Like, mm. They can't even keep up with demand. Disgrace Coral Skull times two. It's at the point where they're just like, you know what, we're just gonna lump them together. We're so far behind. Yeah, uh, these. We're processing too many orders. Wh which one ones do we give these? Ones two that give the most? Uh, which ones? Uh, well, actually, if you give them to en those are the only only the gold hoarders will accept trinkets like that. But. Oh, okay. When it comes to actual payouts, everyone pays out, I believe, the same thing. Oh, okay, okay. It's just which reputation you want to get. I'm just focusing on um, the merchants a lot, because if I keep going, I'll eventually get to 30 with the merchants, which I'm just close to getting to. Plus, they're the quickest to... Are you kidding me? Well, too bad, suckers, you're... <laughs> <laughs> All the stuff's being sold off, so better hurry. <laughs> There's literally a ship pulled up right there. <laughs> they're, they're a little late. They're a little late. Unfortunately, everything's already been sold off, so. So, I, I'd be willing to bet they're going to destroy our ship and then start shooting us. Oh, most certainly. Right. So with that, I think we'll call the stream here. Any last, so forgive last me. bits of words? As we go over to the bar and, and just sit. Ah, I saw them already messing with the ship, so forgive me for doing that. I really don't want them messing with my ship, because like I said, I have to pay repair costs if they do, and that's preemptive. Uh, final words, like I said, all in all, like I said, it's a good update, good story. I honestly like the whole system. Like I said, it's good that they have a finally an, uh, uh, an adventure again where you can just do it yourself. The biggest problem like i said is just worrying about having your ship scuttled while you're in the shrines but like i said the strat there is just bring a dummy ship and scuttle it while you're in the shrine that way nobody knows you're down there so they just sail right over you that way you can just collect later and tldr uh perhaps i should say word to the wise if you do this strategy when you come back to collect your stuff from the mermaid if you see someone at the shrine don't get your mermaid stuff. They can't get it until you do, so don't worry. You don't have to worry about someone stealing your mermaid. You can only, you're can you the only one who can collect from the mermaid, but remember, once it's been collected, anyone can grab the loot after that. So if you see someone else there, just come back later. Yep. So long as you're on the same server, you can collect it at any time, so... Those are my parting words of wisdom, and uh, I'll sign us off, because I am a little late for another problem right now. I'm a little late for another thing I have to already do. Yikes. So, uh, this yes. is farewell from us in the Sea of Thieves, as always. Have a good one. Like, comment, subscribe, and next week... Actually, I'm not going to tell you what we're going to do next week. It's a surprise. Not really, but you know. <laughs> I didn't tell them, and you didn't tell them. I'm no. not really surprised. <laughs> yes, but there's a chance that they might know, they might not know. Uh, if they're good at guessing, maybe, maybe not. We will see. But you have to, you have to come back next week and see. Uh, uh. Mm -hmm. Bring up that viewer count. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and as always, good night.